Whether you're watching us live or will watch this again later, you're very welcome as we share together in this short act of worship to celebrate Palm Sunday. The psalmist gives us these encouraging words. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Wherever we are, we worship together. Wherever we are, we are in the presence of God. We pray together. Loving God, share yourself with us, we pray. Grant us to know your presence with us now. Strengthen our faith in you. Deepen our love for you. And let this time of worship be sacred, precious, meaningful and uplifting. For the sake of Jesus, hello. Amen. And so on this Palm Sunday, we hear Matthew's account of Jesus arriving in Jerusalem. They were approaching Jerusalem, and when they reached Bethphage, the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent off two disciples and told them, Go into the village opposite, where you will at once find a donkey tethered with her foal beside her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, answer, The master needs them, and he will let you have them at once. This was to fulfill the prophecy which says, Tell the daughter of Zion, Here is your king, who comes to you in gentleness, riding on a donkey, on the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed, and brought the donkey and her foal. They laid their cloaks on them, and Jesus mounted. Crowds of people carpeted the road with their cloaks, and some cut branches from the trees to spread in his path. Then the crowds in front and behind raised a shout, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heavens. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city went wild with excitement. Who is this? people asked. And the crowds replied, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. We thank God for what is a familiar story as we hear it again. If things had been different right now, we would be in the church building. We would all be singing, make way, make way. And the children and anyone else who wished to would be marching around, waving flowers and palm crosses, imitating the reaction of the crowd all those years ago when Jesus entered Jerusalem. But this cannot be this year. We are where we are. Nevertheless, if only from deep within our hearts, still we are bound to cry out, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But why? Who is this? The crowds remarked that this was the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. But of course, the truth is, there have been many, there have been many, Still there are many who would come in the name of the Lord. There have been many, there still will be many, who would claim to be prophets. At a time like this, perhaps more than any other, there are a legion of siren voices, each with their own agenda, each claiming to know more than the rest of us, each claiming to be able to fix things, each claiming to have all the answers. Indeed, even as Jesus was entering Jerusalem, there was the hope amongst the crowd that he would be the one to fix it for them. By this time, the following week, 
the one who had been thought of as coming in the name of the Lord would be revealed as the Lord. They say that a week is a long time in politics. It certainly is a long time in lockdown. But this coming week was to be a momentous week in the history of the world. A moment in time unlike any other. The moment in time when the heart of God was laid bare before the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. For God did not send his Son to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. At this moment in time, we are looking anywhere and everywhere for that which will save us from this or that. The message of Palm Sunday, the message of Holy Week, the message of Easter is this. We need look no further than Jesus the Christ, the one who is the Lord of all. It wouldn't be an act of worship from the Free Church without notices. And so this coming Thursday, Maundy Thursday, we will be meeting at 8 o'clock in the evening to share together our remembrance of that occasion. And then next Friday, Good Friday, at 10 o'clock, we will worship together. And this time next week, 11 o'clock on Easter Day, we will gather to share together in celebration of the resurrection. But for now, we bring our prayers to God. Let us all pray together. And as we are quiet, wherever we are, we pray for family and friends, for all those who are precious to us, for all those about whom we are anxious, asking God to be near to them, to watch over them, and to surround them with love. Let us pray for all whom we know who are involved in the treatment and care of those hospitalised with the virus and its effects, and for all other NHS and caring profession staff. Let us pray for everyone for whom this is a stressful time, for whatever reason. Let us pray for the members of the congregation at the Free Church, wherever they are, and others joining with us to worship in this peculiar way. And let us pray for ourselves, that we might be both patient and vigilant at this time. And wherever you are, I invite you to repeat with me the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And the words of Paul inspire us as we bring this short act of worship to its conclusion. Let the peace of God rule in our hearts, to which also we were called in one body, and let us be thankful. Whatever we do in word or deed, let us do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. Wherever you are, a very happy and blessed Palm Sunday to you all.